caught in the act. Look at this, a rare Gila monster was found slithering in an East Valley home and now the experts that caught it have tips on what to do if you ever find one in your house. Yeah, hopefully never, but Team 12's Nyla Charles has more ways to keep you and your family safe. Jason Williams was in for a surprise when he found this in his Mesa home after a day of renovations. When I looked down the hallway, uh, I, I saw the Gila monster, but it was so large, honestly, my mind just couldn't really process that there was a creature of that size in my house. Brown and speckled, the Gila monster is a venomous lizard native to the southwestern U.S. and Mexico. Although it may look harmless to some, it's considered to be as toxic as a western diamond rattlesnake, especially if you get close. This is my first Gila monster of the year that I've got at a house. So this, this whole area was open into the I garage. See, I see. And then on the back half of the house. The front door was open too for a long time. Uh, the last place you want it is in your home. According to Brian Hughes, the owner of Rattlesnake Solutions, Gila monster house calls are rare. Um, that almost never happens. A uh, door was wide open, so it said, why not? They found this critter hiding behind some posters. Oh, he's so cute. Williams was lucky. And I walked right up to it and knelt down. And when my hand was about six inches away, that's when he decided to start moving around. But Hugh says if you find one in your home, don't go near it or it could bite. Don't go towards it to mess with it. Then there's no danger whatsoever. And if you see one, don't kill it. They're federally protected by law. Instead, call professionals who will return the little monster to its natural habitat. In the more likely scenario where you see it outside, Hugh says again. There's no reason at all for anybody to ever touch one. Instead. If you see one, consider yourself lucky that you've seen one of the most iconic animals in the desert. Naila Charles, 12 News.